guys, and welcome to episode 7 of Dragon Age Origins. Awake, we're still in Origins. But uh, before we get started, I have found that with Nexus Mod Manager, I can add a fifth person to my party, which is the dog. So I've gone ahead and done that. Um, reason being is because I've always felt bad never playing the dog, just because I never really knew exactly what he could do for me. But I've never really taken the time to level him up. So I found this as a good way to add him to my party. It'll make the game a little bit easier, I would assume, but, uh, which I guess can be considered cheating, but I'd really like to see what the dog can do, um, and if it does nothing for me, then I will leave it be. So let us begin. Remember, we just left, uh, Lothering, and we are now on track to head somewhere else, I believe. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me, but poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on, his pledge fulfilled. Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak, and perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honour along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedig, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind made the last time we met and is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep I think not I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence how does that sound good yes wonderful thank the gentleman won't you boy thank you sir we won't be a bother to you and your companions I assure you you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy, otherwise, come speak with me. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please, tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. We'll come back for all this stuff at a later date. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Ah, uh, Morgan did not like that, huh? Yes. Well, here I am. Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, 
away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Maybe I am wrong, but it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy. Not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Alright guys, let's head back out on the road. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. I don't remember ever going here, so let's head there. Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. You were there in Ostagar. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or 
will be hung as a deserter. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the King. He was my friend, understand? Make her. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. I know. Even had Loghain's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The King entrusted me with the key to the Royal Arms Chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. The Royal Arms Chest. It's where Kalen kept his father's sword. The one he always said he'd slay the Archdemon with. More than that, there was a secret compartment where he kept documents concerning his dealings with Empress Selene and the Orlesians. The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. Why am I not surprised? Is there someone else we should be bringing back from the brink of death instead? I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some dark spawn that really deserve a sword through the middle. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Marek's sword, I've never seen this it's too line. powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our King. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. This must have to do something with the fact that I have the DLCs. So, we should go on a little adventure that I've never ventured on before. The adventure of a lifetime to Ostagar. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? As you wish. Send it to the Darkspawn, they sure know how to make a place feel desolate and foreboding. How the hell do I get down out of here? I'm assuming I'm looking for King Kalen's body. Well, I recognize where I am now. <laughs> Thank you. 
something but we can't tell during the recording so what i'm gonna do is i'll send you a message and i'm gonna go again so um, are you gonna tell me send the message? message i'm gonna tell you the message yeah but i have to go again oh. but i'm gonna be on team speak i'm just gonna go again i have to come back i have to go and do something and then come back okay so i'm gonna i'm just i'll message you yeah <laughs> google message it to me and then i can check it on my phone while i'm recording and then i'll know what the hell's going on and then i won't be enough. thinking what the right. fuck does Q have to tell me for two hours? Oh, it's gonna be something horrible, like um, yeah, probably like the book comes in or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's just how I did that's, our rule. You that's know? what I was <laughs> expecting. So. <laughs> okay, Zach, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, talk right? in a little bit. Okay, bye, um, guys. Right. Watching this. <laughs> Buddy left your channel. As you like. All right, guys. So we're going to add some more constitution, because I believe that's what gives me the health. Yes, it is. So we're going to knock that up to 20. We're going to go next. I got warrior here. Taunt, mocking, bellow, catches the attention of nearby foes, increasing. Warrior adapts. We're going to learn that one. So she is a shape shifter. Which, don't get me wrong, is cool. 
Not exactly what I need right at this moment. Perhaps there is little to know about this place, or I simply have not discovered its secrets yet. This should be easy enough. As you wish. 